Hello crafty friends, it's Alicia of the Call Me Crafty Al YouTube channel and today I'm back to create a quick, cute and cheery teacher thank you card using a recent stamp set that I got from Not Too Shabby. I hope you'll stick around and see what I'm going to create. Thank you so much for stopping by today. If this is your first time to my channel, I hope that by the end of this video, you'll be inspired to click on that subscribe button below and ring that bell for notifications. If you're already a subscriber and regular viewer, welcome back. I'm so glad that you're here again. Normally, when I stop by with a not too shabby video, I am using their products. But, did you know that they have a whole lot of other brands, products, tools, etc. in their online store? Today I chose a different stamp set to share with you here. I will have it linked below as well as the Not Too Shabby online store. Now I also have a discount code in that description box where you can save 10% off most of the products there. Today I'm going to be using this Be Great Year, which is a clear stamp set from Darcy's. Now this is a new to me company, but I have been eyeing this stamp set on the Not Too Shabby site for a while now. What I loved about it were the cute B images that look pretty easy to color and this huge pencil. I am a sucker for office supplies and it just so happened to be kind of teacher school related so that also drew me in. As I start the process, I will tell you more about the other products and tools that I will be using. But as always, if I ever leave you with any questions, you can leave those in that comment section below and I'll get back to you just as soon as I can. Let's get crafty! Yes, I am on my way to 25k and I'm hoping with a little help from you, that we can make this happen maybe even by the end of 2021. I would love for you to share my channel with your crafty friends, crafty family members, crafty neighbors, crafty co-workers, even just a random shopper in your local scrapbook or stamp store. You can let them know about my channel and if they're interested in subscribing that will help me hit that 25k. To get started on today's card, I'm going to be doing the stamping and I will be stamping with Versamark ink and heat embossing with detail black powder. The cardstock that I'm stamping onto is a scrap of Nina Solar White because later I will be using an alcohol marker to do a little coloring. Now because this is a new stamp set and I am going to use some embossing powder, once I use my embossing bag, I ink this up and stamp it twice before I pour on the powder. I always feel that getting this a little extra juicy for embossing is a good idea. After the powder is poured on, I bring in my heat tool and set the powder. I do usually heat from the front and the back to help keep the cardstock kind of flat and from warping. Now the reason I am embossing is because I can't always color within the lines and this seems to help. And speaking of coloring, that is what I did next. And for this card, I am just using a single color and just doing some accent coloring. My card is mainly going to be black and white with just a little bit of yellow in it. I chose the Citrus Blend Marker from my Spectrum Noir Tri Blend set. I love that there are three shades in this one marker. And what I do is I color in the whole area that I want yellow with the lightest. And then I go back in with the mid color, add some shadows, go in with the dark color, add shadow just in the very darkest place. And then I come back in with the light and blend everything out. Now with this pale yellow it's not as easy to see, but these markers I find are easier for me to use than say Copics. Now while I work on finishing the coloring, I thought it would be a great time to stop by with the QOTV or question of the video. 
Since today's card is a teacher thank you, I thought I would have my question be related to that. I would like to know, did you have a favorite teacher growing up or do you have a favorite teacher that you would look back on now? If so, please let me know in the comment section below and if you want to share a little story, that would be great as well. Don't forget to include the hashtag, hashtag QOTV with your answer, so I know that you've answered and would like me to see it. I have a couple teachers that stand out in my mind. The first is my third grade teacher, and right now I don't remember her name or really why, but I do know that growing up I always looked back on her fondly. My next one was my high school home economics teacher, Again, completely forgot her name, but I always thought she was pretty cool because she let me and my friends eat lunch in her room and just hang out. And now here's a look at my finished colored piece. After that was colored, I finally used my brother's scan and cut. It has been a while and I cut each piece out with a small white border. To add a little texture and interest behind my focal point, I wanted to do a little blending, so I found this kind of honeycomb looking strip stencil in my stash, and then I brought in some yellow ink, my yellow blending brush, and then a four and a quarter by five and a half inch piece of Nina Solar White. I lined up my stencil so it was toward the top of this piece and then I used some painters tape to hold that in place but you'll see I did stick it to my hand first to take away a little of the tackiness. Once that was firmly in place I used my blending brush and the ink to fill in all of the openings in the stencil. And my favorite part is always the reveal which here is a little look for you. I brought in my Hero Arts Infinity Rectangles die and I chose the fourth from the largest to cut this piece. Now because I did want the ink part to be toward the top, I aligned the die top center on the cardstock and I held that in place with some removable tape while I ran it through my die cutter. You'll see here that I also chose another die just one step larger and cut a piece of black cardstock to be the mat. Off camera I cut and folded a yellow card base in the same color as the ink and now all of my pieces are ready so I can put this card together. The ink blended piece got matted with the black cardstock and then both of these layers got adhesive added and got placed on the front center of the card base. Next I added adhesive to the back of the sentiment and placed this in the top left and then finally, because the card was pretty flat so far, I brought in my big blue roll of foam tape, added a couple pieces to the back of the B, and then placed this onto the card front as well. I did take a little bit of time, but I finally figured out where I wanted it to go, and I stuck it in place. Now to finish this off, I brought in some self-adhesive black sequins, and I added three of those to the card front, in kind of a triangle shape around my image. And here are some looks at the finished card. I hope you enjoyed seeing how I put together today's card. If you did, as always, a thumbs up is appreciated. And until my next video, I hope you're all having a crafty day. Bye bye. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch all the way to the end of the video. I hope now you'll consider clicking on one of the videos or playlists I have linked above. And if you're interested in any of the products or tools I used in today's video, I do have some links in the description box.